Hello beautiful family, so um, the last video went off because I didn't have enough storage so I've emptied my recycling bin so we're doing this as part two but there's that moon again um, it's it's still the same, it's still orange which is like a blood moon um, Lord, I just pray you restore the focus so it is acutely perfect for your glory's sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For your glory's sake, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I mean, hope, hopefully it's picking us up all right. Mm. But anyway, like I was speaking in the first video, God has put it in my heart to help homeless people. And um, oh, for the glory of Jesus Christ, Father, please. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just pray you rebuke every foul spirit and do not allow them anywhere near my device. Lord God, you are the Lord of spirits, so you command them by the word of your command. They come off my device in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your glory's sake. Amen. Amen. Because, guys, I, I can tell that something's going on with my camera. It, keep, it keeps blurring and stuff. But that is so weird, that... It even looks red on the sea, doesn't it? it does, yeah. Look at the sea, it's, it's red. red. Look at it, guys. It's a, it's a blood moon. Gold this is red. showing us what time it is. Gold Jesus red. said there would be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars. And so, carried up to the raptures of the yes, heavens. Yes, rapture is what we're waiting for. Oh. Our blessed hope. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel any moment. And with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will be resurrected. They will rise first, then together with them, we'll be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Oh, Richard, please pray again for my stomach. It's just come back. Dear Lord, dear oh. God, we... Pray for Stephen's healing of his stomach. Yes, that Lord. You take all please, discomfort Lord. away. Any pain that he may be undergoing. Yes, Lord. And any sort of cramps and it's terrible, Lord. It's soothe really his painful. stomach, Lord, and yes, free Father. him from any discomfort. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So straight away then, guys, I just feel eased. The pain was bad, but it was just eased considerably. So I praise the Lord for answering. I still don't feel too well. Oh Lord, for your glory's sake, correct the vision, Lord God. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, get off. Look how he's blurring it. I'm going to be praying pray the now, Lord. pray now that the, the, the devil gets off yeah, my device. Can you God. see how blurred it is? Yes. Look, yes. look, as soon as you Send come close. Cast away the, yes, they demons, cast away in the name the of Jesus Christ. Spirits. Surround Stephen's phone. Be gone. Yes, Lord. Thank you. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus God. Christ. Jesus. Amen. Richard says, in the name of God. Um, I've told him it's got Passed to be in the name of Jesus Christ, but demons. Jesus is God. These Satanist spirits that try to possess his phone. Yes. So, so, I mean, the Bible does describe Satan as the prince of the power of the air. So he's got some somewhat power over the airwaves, but God has complete power. And do you know what? Richard prays, and uh, I tell you something. He, he laid his hands on me at my flat and said, "He said you're going to be healed within a week." Yes. And within a couple of days, I felt yes. suddenly better. Um, never mind a week, <laughs> yes. but I'm still not 100 percent. But um, I hope I'm believing on his prayer. So, because yeah, our, 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 our God is an awesome God. The Lord God, that if you sincerely pray and through the power of prayer, if you mean it within your very yeah. soul, you will your receive heart, it. You will find you will it. Receive that glorious health. See, notice this, this jacket. If you notice this jacket, it's, guys, the one it's one I used to have, but yes, I gave it to him Stephen, because. It, it, it suits him. It suits him better than it suits me, actually. Uh, just look, look at that moon a minute again. It's, it's strange, guys. Uh, anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so my uh, my ministry is helping homeless people. 
because it's awful. Being homeless is absolutely awful, depending where you are in the world. But in Spain, for me, and London, it was, uh, it was terror. It really was horrible. I got beaten with truncheons. I got beaten with a baseball bat, um, a wooden one, uh, by a policeman in a dungeon in Spain just for being homeless. Um, they just swooped on the city, the police, and took prostitutes, drug dealers, drug takers, just swooped, took them off the streets and locked them up in this dungeon. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but I've witnessed what it's like to be homeless. I know what it's like, and it's very hard. So, so he, he now, has this, like we said in the last video, he's decided he, he wants to try to get... Um, he's going to try, um, with help, uh, to get a deposit to because uh, here you have to have a deposit or a bond as they call it um, which is usually 300 400 pounds something like that um, it's just um, so if you damage the flat the landlord um, can repair it with the bond and he takes your bond but if you leave the flat you get the and you've left it clean tidy and undamaged you get the bond back anyway so rich is trying to get this bond so if uh, if anybody would like to donate towards this, cause I'm going to organise it. I'm going to make sure he, he does it through the right uh, fields uh, of people, uh, possibly the council, but the council are not that good. But I'm going to go through uh, the right um, source, you know, and with him and do it with him because I'd love to see him off the streets. I've already seen him shine happier uh, just because of the glory of the Lord because he's um, f sometimes so filled with faith. Uh, it's lovely to see. Yeah. He, he glows with Holy Spirit, it's nice. So, well, I want to move on. So you want to move on? Life life yeah, I told him, I said, God, 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 God has got better plans for him. Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me, I just have to just put it this way a minute, Richard, because mm -hmm. me, 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 look at that. My arms are, <gasps> oh, my stomach. My arms are aching. Anyway, so, Richard, <gasps> Just come in the light a bit so they can see. But God has plans for everyone. Yeah, yeah, because I said to Richard, I said, mm. like it says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans to mm. prosper you and, and uh, what else does it say? Something like that. Oh, my stomach again. Oh, my word. Oh. God have, has a path for everyone. Yeah, so, um, so I mean, he, 43 you are, right? Yeah. 44 in May. 44 in May, he's nearly 44. And um, so we're going to try to get him a, a place as soon as possible. I want to um, I'm going to ask my landlord, I'm going to try, I'm going to try it through my landlord. Yeah. I know the landlord, so it's, landlords is what, what we call here the, the owner of the house. Um, so we're going to try and get him off the streets. And um, I, want, I want to go preaching tomorrow. Um, preferably to Leeds. Um, I know Brother Rob can help me out with something, but any, anyway, there's a, there is a PayPal link. I think it might be at the top of the description box. If anybody would donate either to Richard's um, uh, deposit, which I will keep until until he finds somewhere, I'll, I'll keep it in a safe place, and that's his deposit. Um, and I'll just keep adding to it. I'll add to it my own money as well, and. Uh, Eventually, hopefully, we'll get him off the streets quickly. We'll pray about it. That's the most important thing. The best thing you can do for us is pray. Pray that he gets off the streets. And um, anyway, if you, if, if you look on the description box, you click on that little arrow that's shaped like that upside down triangle, and um, it leads you to the description box, which is also a good um, a writing of all the scriptures that you need to know to be saved and to be ready for the rapture, because Jesus Christ is coming. We can feel it in the atmosphere. I was just saying to Richard earlier, can you not feel it? It's a, it, it, it's spooky. It's like everybody's carrying on with their lives, and, and probably most people won't even notice this, this moon. It seems, to, I mean, you can see the redness on the, on the water, the shimmering water. But um, you can tell we're in the final moments of the end of this age. I mean, you would have to have your head in the sand. I mean, people seem to have forgotten the last couple of years when we were 
uh, scandemic, you know, mm. with this scan scandemic. Well, anyway, if people have forgotten that, the people look. We have to realise that the world governments are together. They must be already for the whole world to shut down in unison, in unity, uh, the world government system to shut down the entire world. This is unheard of, you know, and uh, because this is an agenda that's coming. Lord, this will slide through the algorithms in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, it's an agenda. I'll just point it down this way so I don't fall down. Of. This is the government's lack of faith not... with God. Their understanding through God. N the, the problem with, the, the, with the, the problem with these world elites that are running this world is they are in contact with high-ranking demons and fallen angels, and they think. They've believed Satan's lie, um, uh, ye shall be as gods yourselves, like this, you know. Um, they believe they can, live, uh, they can live immortal lives through Satan's super technology the that he's got hidden or something. Tomorrow, which is absolute rubbish, they're being yeah. taught. This is what I we'll, we'll just stop here. I I'm not going down any further because I'm not too well, to be honest with you. Yeah. I hope I'm well enough for tomorrow. Um, I've got Rob to speak to when I get back anyway, so... Well, I'm going to be saying a prayer for you tonight as well. So for me? Yeah. Thank you. I shall, I shall oh, man, I really need it. Oh, guys, yeah, please. Please, please keep me in your prayers. I, I feel weary. I really do. I feel very weary. God's help. Uh, but I, I want to press on. I want to be able to go and preach the gospel tomorrow because I like doing it. Um, because I'm keeping God. God's commandment Jesus, to tell people the way to be saved, to warn people of what's coming upon this world, because it's so bad that it's not even entered into the hearts of men how bad it's going to be. I mean, I've scratched this. Well, I've done more than scratch the surface. I've had I've had these zombie dreams. I've had these earthquake dreams, tsunami dreams. I've had rapture dreams. I know it's all about to come to pass because we're more than flesh and blood. We've got that eternal spirit. And we've got a soul inside us and, and God can give us visions and dreams through the night if he so wishes. Please God help Stephen to make this possible. For Stephen yes, has Lord. to spread the I word. I like spreading your word, Lord. And save as many people as he Lead possibly them can. to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. It has to happen. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Lord, strengthen thy servant with all power and might. Lord God, because there's nothing too hard for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'll just point it back this way, guys, because my arm's aching. Oh, so... Oh, yeah, this is part two. Oh, I was thinking, oh, what... Looking at the time and wondering what's going on. Should we climb back up these stairs again? Yeah. <laughs> we come all the way down Pretty and we... Steep. Well, I'm taking two at a time so I can get up there quickly. Oh, because I've got big long legs. I'm all legs. <laughs> well, how cold do you think it will be tonight? Oh, it's gone. It's dropped the temperature. It's going to be icy cold. Yeah, I'm glad you've. I, I gave you got you that. Uh, oh, that sleeping bag. As sleeping well. yes, bag. Stephen even helped me out with a sleeping bag. Oh, uh, well, yes. it's good. It's a good one. I, it was brand new, and do you know what? I felt a bit guilty about taking it. I just pray for the glory of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Because Stephen hadn't even used it, and he gave me it out of his own free will. Yeah. I was absolutely, honestly, my heart was filled with. I've never been fulfilled in a long time. You see, time. Jesus said the love of many would grow cold, but my, my love because of Jesus Christ in me, all glory to him, is my love still here with me. And I never even asked. I love helping people. It's such a lovely thing. He gave it me unconditionally. Because I knew that the one he had was not su sufficient to he gave it me unconditionally. keep him warm. And I did feel a bit guilty. I, I was saying, wasn't I? No, uh, please don't ever feel guilty. Uh, he, he, you can't help your I situation. More than he did. But it, the fact to the point of the matter was, family, that he hadn't even used it in gaming. Yeah, this is this is one I it bought. This is one I bought. Yeah. And, um, I shall never forget it. I and I haven't used it, so... Uh, I'll 
I'll never forget it. Was, it was quite a more, a more expensive one as well, so well, I bought it for myself and I gave it to Richard. Very, very kindly, and I shall never forget it. And you, you, you stashed it. it somewhere now, safe, so he didn't have to keep walking around with it, all the rucksack and everything, you know. Yeah. I'll just point it this way, mate. Right, uh, let me just think about what to talk about. Uh, let me think. Uh, well, Lord, we ask you... I'm going to pray, guys, as we walk along. Yeah. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we love you so much, Lord. We, we, we are... Oh, Lord, we are anxious to be with you, Lord. So we pray that you tarry not now, Lord, but you, you come quickly and take us because we know it's a pre-tribulation rapture, Lord. We know we're not here for the horrible New World Order system. Lord, people have, don't know. I pray wake people up to the, the how horrible it's going to be. All Christians everywhere, all these subscribers watching me, Lord, I just pray they will be blessed. They won't go away from these videos unblessed, Lord, but blessed and filled with your blessing that makes rich. And when you bless them with your rich blessing, no sorrow comes anywhere near it. So touch them, Lord, with your perfect love, which casts out fear. Pour out dreams, revelations, and visions upon everybody watching. Lord Jesus, to, um, to show that you are coming soon, or whatever you need to communicate with them yes lord we just ask you to uh, bless them and keep them and make your glorious face shine upon them and be gracious unto them lord and lift up the beauty of your countenance upon everyone watching give them peace if there's anybody who hasn't believed on you jesus i pray they wouldn't tarry any longer but they do it now in the name of jesus i pray amen, amen. do you want to amen. add anything to that prayer i do that they see the light of God. Yes, because you are light, Lord. shall enter their hearts, Lord, and you never, ever abandon a soul. No, Lord. Not one. You never leave us. Not one soul you will leave. Hold on a minute. I just said it this way because my arms are aching. They Ooh. believe, sincerely believe, that the Lord died on the cross to forgive us our sins lifetime of sin it is for eternity that means forever people have to open their eyes eternal damnation is real eternal paradise yes um hell is very real yeah. um there's a video at the top of the description box showing you um a, a hole a borehole that was d dug into the earth um and how deep they got i think seven miles or something like this and um they attached a microphone and lowered it down to hear what sound they would hear from the bottom of this uh borehole and uh they lowered a heat resistant microphone but um they managed to get 17 seconds of noise what was going on down there it before it melted it. what was it like it was horrendous it was, it was terrifying there so we don't want you to go to hell screams we don't want anyone to go to hell not even our worst no. enemy because they imagine. are utterly consumed with terrors, terrors down there that's what the yeah. bible says yeah and mm. this is for eternity yeah so if you haven't believed believe on jesus what have you, doesn't matter what you've done, like I've said. Ask for forgiveness. Just, yeah, Jesus and said, ask, forgive you. ask and you shall receive. Yes. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so, anyway, I just love you all, family. I forgot to tell you that. I love you all. If I haven't got back to your email or comment yet, I, I, I do get quite a lot. So just be patient with me. and I, I will get back to you at some point. Uh, so the other day, I just had to do this. I just had to put the device on the side. Can I just add, Stephen? Yeah. God works in mysterious ways. Can I just walk this way because my, I just, because I my arm? His holiness. Oh, I can't see very well, but... I, I believe. Oh, we wait till we get up here. Let's go get up here to the light quickly. Because I can't, well, you can't see him there. I, I just... Oops. Would, I just and he's, to I, I've learnt... I, I always am a bit wary of people on the streets. But I've come to know Richard, 
and who lives in Scarborough, homeless. Mm. And he's quite, he's a very sincere man. And um, um, he's not mocking or anything. He's, I mean, Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh like this. So, so you can just tell when somebody talks what's in what's inside them what's inside their heart look how red that that looks down there look at it it's like the sun shining on it or something isn't that weird guys right right quickly because i'm, I'm going over to add that god works in mysterious and wonderful ways that's better i believe fish, fish i believe personally if i stand over here hold on stay faith what god has what God has told me that meeting Stephen has happened for a reason. For a faithful, religious reason. And in my opinion, everything happens for a reason. Through God. I was supposed by God to find Stephen. Without Stephen, I wouldn't have found God. I wouldn't I wouldn't have found Jesus. I wouldn't have been fed. I wouldn't have been clothed. But you never told me that before. Yeah, it's true. Um, that touched my heart, that did. Oh, thank you, and Richard. That's how God works. Yeah, he it's does. He uses it's people, it's doesn't he? He speaks, he speaks through he people. He can speak through a little child to you. Yeah. If you remain humble, and Richard, Richard was humble. I knew it was, I knew he... He was like good ground, the parable of the sower, and I knew it was good ground when I, when I shared with him the Lord Jesus, and he, and he listened and gradually listened more intently. And get a lot of this. He's teaching me things now. Yeah. It's, it's literally he's teaching me. Wow. You know, and because I'm teachable, I don't know it all, mm. but um, he's, he's te teaching me these things which. <laughs> I think it's, it's so lovely to see. It's God working. It's lovely to see somebody grow in their faith and become. Yeah. You see the glory, <clears throat> the glory of the Lord makes. I mean, the be let the beauty of the Lord be upon us, O God, according as we have hoped in Thee through Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm Amen. gonna have to get going, guys, otherwise these will upload. God, can I just add also quickly? Hurry up, because I. God has ages. also helped me restrain from alcohol. From drugs, I I don't Hurry need up. these things. Hurry up. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Amen. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Yes. All right, guys. We'll see you next time, and and we say goodbye. Say goodbye, Richard. Goodbye, and God bless, and may you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.